Good morning. Uh, thank you all for joining us here for our weekly press conference. We really appreciate it. I'm very happy that you could join us today and hope that you'll have a wonderful, you had a wonderful 4th of July holiday with your family and your friends. If you had a chance to come to Lights Over Lake Erie fireworks display, I think you'll agree it was an incredible show. Thank you again to the generous supporters of the Erie Western Pennsylvania Port Authority for helping us to make fireworks possible. We would also like to thank the Erie County Gaming Revenue Authority for providing additional funding for lights over Lake Erie through a special events grant that they had. Thank you as well to the EMTA for the free shuttle service during the event. And we would really like to thank the city's public works team, the Erie Police Department, and the Erie Fire Department for helping to ensure it was a safe, fun event for everyone who came to it. For today's topic, we are happy to have the Experienced Children's Museum here with us today to tell us what's new at the Children's Museum, and there's a lot to talk about there. Tomorrow is the grand opening of Phase 2 of the Children's Museum, which I am sure everyone is very excited about. Experienced Children's Museum is a nonprofit organization located here in downtown Erie. They have been inspiring creativity and imagination in children now for more than 25 years. Over 60,000 visitors engage with the museum every year, and it is an important destination attraction here in the city of Erie. It's my pleasure now to introduce Experience Children's Museum's Executive Director, Ainsley Borzig. Ainsley, the floor is now yours. Thank you for having me. And thank you to the city of Erie for being such a great supporter of the Children's Museum. So I am Ainsley Brozick, the executive director of the museum. I've been there for just over 10 years, and it is truly an exciting time for the Children's Museum. I hope everybody's ex as excited as we are. Um, you know, the museum's mission is to engage children and families in our community from all backgrounds in play-based educational experiences. But to make it short, it's just a fun place where kids learn and they don't even realize they're, they're learning. We hope to be an economic driver for the city of Erie. Um, I think we're already doing that. We hope to be a community hub where people from all different socioeconomic backgrounds and cultures can come together um, and play and learn from each other. We also hope to be a STEAM educational facility, which is science, technology, engineering, art, and math. We know that those are crucial skills that kids need in the workforce as they get older. So we're thrilled to open this new, well, I say new, it's a mix of a renovation and a new building, uh, just under 40,000 square feet. And it was an $18 million project. So one of the largest I think we've seen in, in Erie, downtown Erie. The full steam ahead capital campaign began in 2017 with a team of amazing people. Um, we've actually raised 18.7 million, not to brag, um, so we have more than paid for the project. We were so fortunate to work with Chris Groner and his team and receive um, RACP uh, funding from the Commonwealth, $5 million. We literally could not have done this project without the support of the city of Erie. It was really a catalyst once we got that grant to really get some other funders on board. We received $3 million from the Erie Community Foundation Transformational Fund, and then an overwhelming 10.7 million from individuals and businesses in our community. And I think that's really amazing because um, everybody thinks that, you know, maybe we got all these large donations and grants from out of, out of our, our town, but 10.7 was raised right here in our community. So that just shows how invested our community is in places like the Children's Museum. So our expansion, it was time. We've been in this community for over 25 years. We were literally bursting at the seams. So now we are able to expand our age range to kids up until fifth grade. We'll do programming for kids through middle school. Um, we really wanted to help the city of Erie revitalize downtown. We felt like this was a great time for us to expand our services and, and contribute to the revitalization of the city core. 
We really are a destination for businesses, living, tourism. We really feel like we are an attraction that brings people down to, to downtown Erie. A little bit about our construction. We broke ground, believe it or not, just in April of 2022. It seemed so long ago, but it really wasn't. And we will officially open phase two, the completed project, tomorrow, Friday, at 9.30 a.m. The museum is full of amazing exhibits that are very um, uh, centered on Erie. We want kids to be proud of Erie, Pennsylvania and where they come from. So you'll see a lot of Erie infused in our exhibits. We have our Lake Life exhibit, which features the second largest water table in, in the United States. Um, it's a water table that was made for us out of Columbus, custom made, features all of the land lighthouses, the Bicentennial Tower, Don John Shipbuilding, lots and lots of things that make Erie special. We also have a replica of the Na flagship Niagara in our ship that the kids can climb on. We have a town called My Erie, a place where kids can participate in community and visit little shops like the grocery store and a farm, a theater, um, a diner, all places that make up a community, very focused on Erie. We have an outdoor classroom space, a smart studio, which is an art studio, Erie Recycles, a tinkering tank, which I like to call Shark Tank. Um, it's a place where kids can invent um, and I'm super excited about that because it features local inventions that were made here in Erie or in Pennsylvania. And so kids can realize that you can, if you can dream it, create it, maybe it'll become something bigger someday. We have a testing station, a construction zone, a traveling exhibit space that in September will be welcoming the science of baseball where we work with the Erie Seawolves and Believe it or not, there is science in baseball. We'll teach kids about velocity of a pitch and all kinds of different fun things. So just to recap, we are so thrilled to open this new facility. I really want everyone to understand this is a facility that our community should be so proud of. It is something you would see in any big city. I would argue it's better. It's better than Buffalo, Cleveland, and Pittsburgh. So we really need the community support. Tomorrow, we officially open for play. We're going to have a celebration all weekend with live music, prizes, tattoos. Who doesn't want a glitter tattoo? And more. Our hours of operation, Friday and Saturday, are 10 to 5, and Sundays from 1 to 5. And our admission is $12 per person. Um, we do offer a special discount for, ch for children and families who are on EBT assistance. It's only $3. And of course, we would love for everybody to buy a membership and support us all year round. Um, memberships are really amazing because we partner with over 300 other children's museums across the country and over 150 science centers across the country. And your membership to our museum gets you discounts there. So. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you to the city of Erie for all of your support. We could not have built this facility without all of you. Thank you. That was a great, uh, Ainsley, thank you very much. I really look forward to seeing the new exhibit and features at the Experienced Children's Museum tomorrow at 9.30. I will be there. Excellent. Thanks, uh, thanks to you, to your team, and the board of directors for continuing to provide an educational and fun experience for kids and families here in Erie. Also, I would like to remind everyone that this Sunday, July 14th, the City of Erie's 814 Concert Series, presented by UPMC Health Plan, continues at 5 p.m. at Wayne Park, which is located at East 6th and East Avenue. This concert, concert features the Riff Riders. The 814 Concert Series runs for five more weeks and begins a local band, brings a, different, a local band to different cities in the Erie Park throughout until August 11th when it ends. The music starts at 5 p.m. and attendees will have access to a food truck and community resource tables. Then, on Monday, July 15th, next Monday, we'll have another Sounds of Summer concert at the VA Medical Center 
That's at 135 East 38th Street at 7 p.m. This concert features the Presque Isle Little Big Band. Uh, Sounds of Summer will continue on Mondays until August the 12th. Thank you for the Local 17 Music Fund and Alan Zerker for helping to book bands and secure venues for the Sounds of Summer concerts. Again, thank you to UPMC Health Plan for their generous support to make both concerts series possible here in Erie. I can find the full con you can find the full concert lineup for the summer at this website, 814concerts.com. It's pretty simple. And lastly, the City of Erie Department of Public Works is out in full force this summer. They are working hard to keep our city looking great by making necessary repairs and doing routine maintenance throughout the city. It is crucial that everyone remembers to watch out for our streets department personnel because they're often work to, to close traffic. Please slow down and obey signs, cones, and barriers that are in place to protect drivers as well as the workers. Also, please be patient and slow down if you are following a garbage truck and, and move over when it's safe to do so. When driving through work zones, or anywhere in the city of Erie for that matter, drivers should do four practices. Very simple. Slow down, move over, pay attention, and be patient. No appointment, meeting, or errand that drivers are rushing to is worth risking a life. Please remember that every individual out there working on streets, collecting trash, walking or riding a bike, has a family that cares about them and wants to see them when they come home safely. So please, everyone, do what your part to make Erie as safe as possible. Thank you all for doing that. And that concludes this week's press conference. Please continue to follow us on social media for the latest updates on everything happening here in the city of Erie. And both of us that spoke are now available for interviews. Thank you very much for watching today and being here as well. Thank you.